Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at video compression techniques for Adobe Media Encoder. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to compress files for YouTube. Now, the secret to YouTube is that YouTube always recompresses your media. Always, always, always. And the reason is YouTube is compressing it for low bandwidth devices. It's compressing it for Android cell phones, for iOS cell phones. It's compressing it for high bandwidth computers and media bandwidth, uh, um, what's the word that I want? Wi-Fi connected systems. It's got low bandwidth for phones that are connected via the phone network. YouTube creates 20 different versions of your media when you load it up to YouTube, 20 different versions. Now, YouTube could say, you have to create these, which would drive all of us nuts and nobody would use YouTube. Or YouTube says, you send us a high resolution file, we'll create all the versions that we need. This is exactly what YouTube does. But it means that when you post a video to YouTube, it's always going to recompress it, which means we need to compress a file for YouTube with enough bandwidth, enough data rate, enough bit rate, that when YouTube starts throwing stuff away, it doesn't damage the quality of your file. But YouTube always recompresses. So where do we find YouTube? YouTube is in the web video category. Notice I'm over here in a preset browser. browser and we twirl down YouTube. Now, the way that Adobe has done this, and I don't necessarily disagree, I've just got to move over here, is that Adobe has given us five different settings for YouTube. It's given us a YouTube video, which is 480, which is itty bitty teeny tiny, of uh, a wide angle, 16 by 9, 4 by 3, 720, 1080, and a 2K, which also doubles as 4K. Here's my thinking. I'm always looking for the best balance between getting the job uploaded to YouTube and having a high quality playback. All of the web video that I do is all 720p. And that's because even though there are large screens out there, most people are not even able to see a 1080 picture full screen on their monitors, especially on laptops. So for me, uploading a 1080 file is just bandwidth that I'm wasting. So for at least another six months, I'm probably going to be doing 720p. We may move to 1080 when bandwidth is is more ubiquitous around the world. But you can tell just by the, the, the reading the chat, the problems that people have just trying to access a, a simple 2K bandwidth is what our stream is going up and coming down. So I would do all my work 720. To replace a setting, I take the default setting and just drop it on top of the existing one. Notice how match source has now been replaced by YouTube. Grab it and drag it right on top. Grab it and drag it. If you want to change the setting, double click it, and this opens up the settings window. Several things happen inside the settings window. For, oh, we are, we are on the fearsome giraffe. I want to be on the fearsome Chinese dragon. There we go. There's our fearsome Chinese dragon. Now, the fearsome Chinese dragon is actually a standard definition clip. But it's got a lot of movement. It's got a lot of soft edges. It's got great eyes. And I want to be able to, to make sure that I can get this compression to work. So I don't want to compress the entire movie. I want to compress a piece of it. Notice here, as I'm in the mini timeline, if I type the letter I, I can set an in. And I'm going to drag over to here and type the letter O and set an out. I now have a shot that runs about one and a half seconds. Rather than have to output my entire fearsome Chinese dragon, I just output a minute and a half, a minute, uh, second and a half. If it looks good, then the rest of it's going to compress very easily. So I can set the in and the out either by dragging this icon right down here, dragging this icon here, or setting an in by typing the letter I and the out the letter O. So this allows me to, to set just a piece of it, or I can say, let's just drag this all the way out. Drag it all the way out, all the way out. Come on, people are watching. Thank you. And grab and drag over here. And we now have the entire thing. We can say source range, or we could do the entire clip. Let's just do an experiment. Okay, that's custom. Entire clip resets. Compressor doesn't have a reset button. I forgot that pop-up exists in media encoder. Okay, so I'm going to just set this here. Cue the dragon. Cue the fearsome eyes of the dragon. Okay, done. So now, because the presets for YouTube are set, all we have to do is click OK. And we've now changed this preset. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at 
video compression inside Adobe Media Encoder. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 153B. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.